Hey guys, Radios here, and this is my unboxing on Zelda Ocarina of Time. Not this one. Even though I just beat this one 100% with everything just yesterday. This is actually the original version 1.0 with the actual blood at the last battle. And yeah. Well, no, we're unboxing the 3DS version. Now. I bought this at GameStop, but at my GameStop, the uh, the guidebook was completely sold out. And I think Ocarina of Time was too, but I had pre-ordered mine, so I'm safe. But the guidebook was 100% sold out. And then I asked them, well, do you guys have any promotional posters or anything that, I could, that you guys aren't going to be using anymore? And then they said, sure, but just come back in a week or so and see if we don't have if we don't need it anymore so I went to Best Buy and I bought the guidebook they didn't have a collector's edition which sucks but it costed 20 bucks and 19 cents so just let's quickly look at the guidebook before we get to the game return to Hyrule and explore in 3D never get lost with the maps of Hyrule and its Tetris dungeons no enemy can stop you with our expert strategies including every boss Solutions for every puzzle, both in Hyrule and all the dungeons. Locations revealed for all hard containers, gold catulas, and secret... Uh, whatever this is called, growth tools? And more. Detailed information on unlocking and completing the challenging master quest. And it has a free poster. Let's just remove this free poster. I'm just going to put my camera down real quick. Oh man. man. I just accidentally ripped this bottom part. Not cool. I might just take this top part off then. Just let me open up the poster. Yeah, this is a big poster. Um, yeah, I might just actually just, you know, cut this off. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's not really affecting the cool epic artwork at all. So, I might just cut that off later on. Um, wow, such a big poster, actually. This is going to go up in my wall. And, well, let's just take a look over here. You know, it's detailed on everything. It's even going to show you how to pass the master quest. Um, where is that page? Ah, alright, so the story so far. Let me just quickly read this. Uh, and yeah. Before there was Hyrule, there was the Triforce. And before there was the Triforce, there were the three great goddesses. Then the goddess of power... Nehru, the goddess of wisdom, and Thor, goddess of courage. Together, these three crafted the world and all life within it. Before fading back into the cosmos, the goddess forged a covenant in their newly created world. They called this token the Triforce, a nine-sided symbol that uh, guaranteed safety for the world for as long as it existed. But things with all such powers draw dangerous desires, and while many respected and cherished the bond of the Triforce, there were others who wanted to re to seize it and use it for their own wicked purpose. It has been said that throughout the centuries, a strain of truly evil beings moved, uh, have, moved the, have moved on the Triforce, and with each challenge, a hero had risen to protect it. The Kingdom of Hyrule Pro Properous Kingdom a prosperous kingdom has long benefited from the protection of the Triforce, but a traitor to Hyrule, a thief from the east, is threatening to destroy peace. In this ter his terrible plot, 
must be extinguished, but it will require a hero to awaken. The hero is unaware he is being called. He is Link, a young boy who lives in the forest among the Kokri. He is different from other Kokri in that he lacks a garden fairy. He also has suffered a strain of vicious nightmares. In his dreams, he sees a rider on horseback, spirited away a terrified girl. Lightning crashes over the castle towers, and another rider, equally grim, turns and gazes on Link, and at that moment the boy shoots awake in his bed. Link has thought these weird dreams were... Link had thought these were just dreams, but he... But they are ha harbingers, whatever that is, of a threat against Hyrule. And what would happen if this boy does not answer the call? So over here we have a whole bunch of, you know, uh, what's new on the 3DS section. So I think you guys seen enough of this uh, guidebook. And also there's a couple of cool, you know, uh, artwork in here. A couple of artwork for the items, the maps, it's all. Wow, uh, GameStop, they, since I'm pretty much one of their, uh, let's just say I go there a lot, um, I'm one of their most, I think I'm one of their, uh, most, uh, viewed customer or something, but anyway, um, they always give me these cool stuff that's coming out for the Wii, and right over here, one game that I really want to get, uh, huh, they're coming up with a new Happy Feet movie. That should be good. Um, one game that I really want to get, I already paid Skyward Sword. I just gotta pay three more dollars for it. It comes out so far November 2nd, even though at E3 they said it'd be coming out on, uh, the holiday season, which is around November, December. Lego Harry Potter, years 5 through 7, I want to get that. But then there was another one. Um, uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time, I definitely want to get that. Ah, here we go, X-Men Destiny. I really want to get X-Men Destiny, and it comes out the last day of this, uh, yeah, of December, and it's Permanent Edge of Time, same exact day. And here's the 3DS, uh, we've got some cool new stuff, uh, nothing that I want to get yet. A new Harvest Moon is coming out, a uh, Kid Icarus I really want to get, it comes out in November, they switched it. Yeah, they switched it, huh. Luigi's Mansion. Comes out next year. And. Shinobi. Uh, I saw some screenshots of it. Looks interesting. The Sims 3 Pets. Comes out November 2nd. What's up with the games coming out right after my birthday? My birthday is November 1st. Taken 3DS. I love Taken. It's a good game. Yeah. Okay. But you guys aren't here for that stuff. You're here for Zelda Ocarina of Time's unboxing. And please know, I left my house around 12 something and it's already 3.01. I was helping my mom uh, look for something at a store. Anyway, Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on this right now, so let's just quickly get in the box. Okay, I'm just going to cut this open. Oh. I'm not sure how well you guys can sort of see that. Oh, here, yeah, I'm tired again. Yeah, you guys pretty much saw my bed sort of a mess. It's a bummer that here in the US we didn't get any pre order bonuses. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay. Here in the box, we, it's pretty much the exact same thing as this, except it says down here. Playable in 2D and 3D, 3D mode for just 7 and up, see back. It's a very nice box, I really like it. It shows Link riding Epona with the Master Sword in his left hand. So basically, this is a screenshot from the original, for, for the main quest, not Master Quest. Up over here we have an ocarina, you guys can see that though, and the harp, you can see the harp, and there's the ocarina. So up here, there's ocarina, harp, ocarina, harp, 
very very cool and now let's look at the back a legend for ages spans a new dimension follow your destiny throughout mountains dungeons and time itself to thwart Ganondorf the evil king of thieves experience Link's adventure in remastered in 3d ah Experience Link's greatest adventure remastered in glorious 3D. Once you beat the game, a new mirrored version of the challenging Master Quest awaits. We got some pretty nice screenshots. And now let's just take a look at. Uh, man. And this is Wimpy Kid number 5 that you guys just saw. Man. I wonder how come in Canada or somewhere around the uh, around the world these little holes had some cool stuff in it. That's just messed up. Over here we get nothing cool. Here's the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D. I have multiple copies of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, but this is my first copy of Ocarina of Time 3D, and it's going to be my only copy. As you can see, it's a major, major downside. I mean, really. In thickness, height, everything. Okay, let's set that aside. Now let's just take a look at the manual. Okay, what the? Why is this manual like this? Uh huh. You know, I really wish they start making more manuals like this, like in how the original Zelda they, the original Zelda for the NES, they had something like this. That folded out, and once I had a map, and then on the other side, I had a whole bunch of stuff with all artwork and a quick story about The Legend of Zelda. So, this is just basically controls. And this time around, they made the game, the graphics, uh, more closer, a lot closer actually. Pretty much the artwork is in the game, but game graphics, not artwork graphics. We turn it around, and there's pretty much nothing else. So just let me set that aside. And yes, we got the Zelda 25th anniversary. If you register your Club Nintendo today and as fast as you can on Club Nintendo, you can get a free music track CD from Club Nintendo with 50 or more songs from Zelda Ocarina of Time. And here's just what's coming out or something, Skyward Sword. Holiday season coming fall 2011, and some eShop stuff and Link's Awakening DX. I haven't, I never played Link's Awakening though, so I don't know how good that is. But here we have your Club Nintendo stuff. Shows Link riding a Pona, and the code which I'm not gonna show you guys. Now there's only one thing left to do. Crap, um, that wasn't a smart idea, my game was on and I removed it. <sighs> Man. Well, at least it wasn't saving. Ocarina of Time, sliding it in. Well, sort of. Oh, that looks so cool. It's like all the way back up and now he's so so close to you. That's really really cool. And if you guys don't know, Ocarina of Time is a dead tie with Final Fantasy and Steamboat Chronicles as my favorite games of all time. Ocarina of Time. 3D is gonna be epic. The only thing I wish is that you could use the microphone to blow on the ocarina like you could with uh, spirit tracks. But no, they had to go and add buttons. Why? It would have been so much better if they had two options, the buttons and the blowing. I would have gone with the blowing. Oh, whatever. Anyway, this game is going to be epic. I can't wait to fix my poster and hang it up.
I also ordered three posters from Zelda uh, my club Nintendo. I reached platinum status thanks to Baku Blade one two three and um and yeah that's just about it and I can't wait to find out what I can't wait to get the uh, CD and also I can't wait to find out what this year's club Nintendo prize is. Now if you want excuse me I'm gonna go and play some Ocarina of Time and if you're wondering when the 3DS uh, review is coming out I'm sorry but I will not be able to do it tomorrow because I mean I already did it but I deleted it because I was talking way too much and it was almost an hour long and I, I wasn't doing a very good job of reviewing it so I just you know deleted it and I'm gonna try again to make it shorter underneath 10 minutes to just quickly go on through this but I promise I, I will deliver the review of this before June 30th because I leave on June 30th and then I get back August 29th anyway rate, comment, subscribe, I'll subscribe guys since I cannot see you guys in my next video bye